Lights, camera, action! If you have a vehicle parked in front of your building or anywhere in the center drive, whether it's a carport or an open space, and you have not moved your vehicle, please do so now to avoid it being towed. Again, if you have a vehicle parked in the center drive or directly in front of this building and have not removed your vehicle, please do so now to avoid it being towed. Thank you. I just moved my car. <clears throat> They're doing some sort of repair on um, the asphalt in the parking lot. So they asked uh, the residents to move the cars out of the parking spaces and everything like that so that they can do the work. So I got up extra early so that I could move my car. I was initially worried that all of the available parking spaces would, would be taken. Which is why I was like, let me just get up early and move the car super early this way. Hopefully, hopefully, some spaces will still be available. But shoot, there were plenty of spaces available. A good majority of my neighbors have not moved their cars as of yet. They've still got about 45 minutes. <laughs> According to the notice that the, uh, the apartment office left on our doors or whatever. So they still have time. And I don't know if some of these people just plan on going to work. Just the car will be parked, you know, there the entire time. But I also know that a lot of these jokers do not work traditional 9 to 5s or work at all. And they ain't moved their cars yet. I don't know about you, but I do not even like to play with the idea that my car could get towed from my apartment complex. I've had that happen before. Long time ago when I lived in Miami, they were assholes about the situation. And it was super duper expensive. Anyway, like I said, it is early. So I'm going to lay down for a little while longer. Just a little while. Then I'll get my day started. All right, well, trying to lay back down for a little while didn't really work out, which is fine. I need to be awake, up, productive. I need to do stuff. Hell, I need to edit the video that y'all are going to see, well, that y'all are going to see yesterday because the video I'm making now will go up tomorrow, but still. <laughs> little breakfast, little coffee, oatmeal. Might even whip up some egg whites. Yeah, yeah. So my neighbors are cutting it close, son. <laughs> Property manager is running around with the bullhorn talking about you move your shit or it's going to get towed. So I went outside and I just made sure that where I parked my car was okay. She was just like, do you know these cars that are still here? And I was like, well, I think that those couple of cars belong to my neighbors. She was like, all right. So, you know, I walk her over and... She knocks on the door, rings the doorbell, and they don't come. She got back out there, and she was just like, move your car. <laughs> and then maybe like five minutes later, they come down. So, cutting it close, cutting it close. They don't even know that I saved their asses. Because she straight up told me, she was just like, I'm going to tow these shits. Do you know who they belong to? And I was like, yeah, those cars belong to my neighbors. Can't tell you about the rest of them. So, I saved their asses. All right, going to move the car back to my parking space. Ooh, so I still got a couple of hours left to work, but I came out to move the car back into my parking space. They finished doing whatever they need to do to our section <laughs> of the parking lot. They're gonna come back tomorrow to do like another section, but at least I'm free and clear for now because then they're coming back next month to do some other shit. So I'm going to have to go through this again next month, but that's okay because I strategize. <laughs> I know how to do this shit. I'm just, I'm just so amazed that people really waited to the last, like my neighbors, like that woman was going to tow the shit out of their cars. If I hadn't told her, Hey, those are my neighbor's cars. I showed her, you know, the apartment and she went and knocked and knocked on their door and they still didn't answer. So then she got on the megaphone and was just like, 
So yeah. Anyway, 